In this video, we are going to go ahead and set up an X and V plate for Haemophilus identification. Uh, so the first thing that we'll do here is, well, the first thing that I've done is I've taken a Mueller-Hinton plate um, and I've divided it into four different quadrants. And what's going to happen is I'm going to put uh, a disc in uh, each of these sections except one. One we're going to go ahead and leave blank. And the discs are, uh, here we have uh, X factor, we have V factor, and we have X and V factors. All right, so uh, what I, for, the first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and I need to make a lawn on this Mueller-Hinton plate. Now, making a lawn for X and V is a little bit different than making a lawn for Optichin, Novo Bias, and Herbacitracin because there we're looking for sensitivity or resistance, whereas here we're looking for growth. So we don't have to worry so much about making a light lawn. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use a sterile cotton uh, tipped applicator and just make sure when you're doing this that in fact it is sterile right it says up here at the top sterile cotton tipped applicator okay okay I'll just get take a little bit uh, off my plate here Okay, now it's important that I get uh, the organism spread over the complete face of the plate. So I'm, first I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to go ahead and back and forth. And we'll turn. And one more time. Okay, that swab can be thrown away, the biohazard crash, of course. All right, now it's time to go ahead and add our uh, discs. Okay, so sometimes these uh, disc uh, dispensers come with a little uh, attachment. You can see here there's uh, these little uh, plastic bits here for that uh, dispenser, to, to, for a dispenser to attach on to there. But... I don't have one for each one, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a uh, forceps here, which I've gone ahead and stuck in the uh, just the tip of it for a few seconds into the incinerator. Okay, so now when you're putting these things on, what you want to do is basically just go ahead and put it right in the center of wherever it is it belongs. Just give it a slight tap. It's meant to sit on the surface of the um, auger plate, so there's no need to, like, push it into the plate. So, All right, so we're going to go ahead and repeat this with the others. Okay, so what we're going to do with this plate is we're going to incubate it at 37 degrees uh, for, we'll check it in 24 hours. It'll be in, in, at uh, 37 degrees in uh, increased, uh, like around 5% CO2. Um, so our student laboratory here is pretty low tech, so we just use a candle jar. So, um, And now one thing is that there probably won't be enough growth after 24 hours. I will check it but we're probably going to need at least 48 hours to see any kind of detectable growth. All right, so I am reading this plate now at actually uh, 72 hours. I checked it after 24 and 48. 24, there was almost no growth. 48, there was some growth, but for the purpose of you know use or recording this on video, I decided to wait until 72 hours just so there is something that you could actually see on the plate 
uh, through the video camera. So um, what we're looking for in this test is, is growth. So when we set up the test, when we put on the discs, I don't know if you noticed or not, but the V disc up here was white. The X and V and the X discs are both green. So we can see that there's no color around the V disc, but around the X disc and the X and V discs, we have this greenish hue. Now that is not what we're looking for. That is the color from the disc that's gone out into the media. So uh, if I look at V, I don't see anything. If I look at X, I don't see any kind of growth. And of course, over here, this is kind of our negative control. We shouldn't be seeing anything growing here because this Mueller-Hinton plate doesn't have either X or V in it. And with Haemophilus influenza, it needs both. So now I think we can see that around the X and V disc, excuse me, there is this round uh, haze, and that is what we're looking for. So uh, this test has uh, proven or shown that what's on this plate is Haemophilus influenza.